Alright, I'm going to try something a little bit different with a video series on how to build a quadcopter and I will say that it is a learning process for me as well because, you know, I've done two so far from scratch and it's been a learning process and I'm trying some different stuff with this one. This is the hippo frame, as you see it's not completely built. But I have the hippo frame for my next build. And decided to go with a Omnibus F4 uh, flight controller uh, with OSD. I have the, uh, I don't know which one it is. I have another F4. It's a Luminaire F4 uh, flight controller and another quad I built, and I, I kind of like it. I like the OSD, so we're going with this one. This will be my first time trying this one. You know, and I'm just, just going through the components now because I'm gonna do try to do this in steps instead of making an all-nighter and <laughs> you know doing it. Going with a run cam Swift to which has worked out very well in the past for me, as you can see there. Um, I'm trying these DYS fires. They are 2600 KV. I think they're 2205s or 6s. I'm not 100% sure, but they are. Um, I'm usually an Emacs guy, but I figured I'd give these a try. I've heard good things about them, so. And as far as ESCs, I've used these in the past. Oh, there's a, you can see I can use them. They're Emacs 30 amp. I'm gonna be running D-Shot 600 on these. These work out pretty good. I like them, 30 amp. You gotta have it for the motors. And of course, dial prop. You gotta have your dial props. Um, we are going with a free sky receiver it's because I have a Tyrannus QX7 and I really like it this has got the audio let me see it's got um, oh never mind that's the receiver I'm sorry okay that's got the S bus all that stuff I'm going trying something different with a fox ear switcher race band whatever I've never used this one but I'm gonna try it um, you know giving it a give it a whirl see how it goes I'm usually using the cheaper e sheens so I kind of stepped up or stepped down I don't know I'll figure it out and also I'm going with this little kind of stubby I think that's gonna look better than a full size you know full size uh, Full size one sticking out there because if you have a full size one, it's gonna be sticking way out here, and that's not gonna look good, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, just giving you a brief overview of what I've got. This is what my next build will consist of, and I will be going over it uh, step by step, trying something new, trying a build series. Um, this will probably be my last. I call these my Amazon builds because I get all the parts off Amazon, but my next build is going to be a more of a top-notch build, if you will. But yeah, um, stay tuned, and I will go step-by-step step on this, and the next step will probably be mounting the motors and doing the ESCs, and then we'll go from there. All right.